A fashion designer's impact goes beyond the runway. They change the way we look at ourselves and those around us. Video Fashion Designers chronicles their past successes and follows their evolution into the 21st century. Shrunken suits and ankle cleavage. It is Tom Brown's twist on tradition that has forever changed the landscape of menswear. And along with his penchant for putting on extraordinary shows, has kept the fashion world riveted. I love to just keep people guessing and doing provocative, interesting things that, that are fun. Brown grew up in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and graduated from the University of Notre Dame with a degree in economics. But the fashion world would have to wait while he tried his hand at acting in Hollywood. Eventually moving to New York, in 1998, Brown landed a job in the showroom of Giorgio Armani and later worked for Ralph Lauren at Club Monaco. In 2003, Tom Brown launched his eponymous line, challenging one's perception of what a man's suit should look like. He has garnered many accolades along the way, including the 2013 CFDA Award for Menswear Designer of the Year. I don't have any interest in just showing gray suits or traditional men's clothing. That will always be a piece of it, and the collections always start from a very classic point of view. But the confidence that people give you in responding to your work really lets frees you up to just really explore and do a lot more interesting things. Thank God we have Tom Brown because it's like, you know, he's a creator, you know? He takes a little gray suit and he pushes it to the limit. I think he's had an extraordinary impact on the menswear industry in general. You know, it's not something for the average guy, and he makes no bones about that, but he's a true believer, and I, and I think you have to really appreciate that. He hasn't watered down, he hasn't diluted his vision. Brown's schoolboy aesthetic caught the attention of Brooks Brothers. In 2006, the 188-year-old brand, known for its classic suits, tapped him to guest design their new fashion-forward black fleece label for both men and women. For me, I've always drawn upon the heritage of Amer the American sensibility, and Brooks Brothers is that iconic American brand. When you think of any, that is, the, I think, the true American brand. Continually expanding his own brand, Brown's sensibility for women's wear was on full view in 2011, staging his first formal show during New York Fashion Week. Amidst the theatrics and surrealism, Brown's meticulous and slightly fetish approach to menswear tailoring is also at the core of his women's line. He's got a very, very clear vision, and it's a very strong, strong focused vision, and I think that's what makes him so important as a designer. On January 21st, 2013, First Lady Michelle Obama proved that she too appreciates Brown's take on femininity choosing to don one of his coats for her husband's second inauguration. So honored, so humbled by her choosing mine amongst so many really good designers that she works with. So yeah, an amazing experience I'll remember for the rest of my life. As a designer, Tom Brown sees his mission in defying the norm. I think it's part of our responsibility is to make people think and to take classic things and do them differently and show them differently. Even the typically steely melted at the sight of Tom Brown's Fall 2006 collection. Never one for runway convention, Brown had his models lace up and hit the rink. This collection is really special and I feel like it was just something I wanted to really make sure that a lot of people saw in a very young and uh, just almost funny way. That presentation was such a good time, seeing you know, the guys and the ice skating rink, and I thought it had a really nice spirit to it. What I like about him is he takes these really sort of old world techniques of tailoring that can oftentimes be really stuffy, and he just makes it seem so fresh and fun 
but without making it seem sort of childish. I mean, there are the short pants and the, the cropped pants and the cropped sleeves and everything, but a lot of that is, I think, to make a point of, you know, just letting the hot air out of tailoring. Well, so much of what I do is very schoolboy, um, very university feeling, and but you're mixing that with the quality of how everything is made. I mean, you see some of the things, and some of them are just, it's crazy on how beautifully made they are. So the combination is, is very fun and, and great for young guys, I think. I'm not a huge accessory person, but I did, you know, I do like guys in hats and scarves and, and you know, mittens, um, just kind of just very, you know, kind of very much something would wear out on this, on a skating rink or in the ski slopes. The designer had a simple goal in mind for his clients. Fun. I mean, just like really taking it not so seriously and just having a good time. The award for Men's Wear Designer of the Year goes to Tom Brown. And the good times continued when Brown walked off with a 2006 CFDA Award for Men's Wear Designer of the Year. It's been such a really good year for me, so it's been a nice way to kind of cap it off. Known for his original presentations, Tom Brown geared up for the first ever runway show for his progressive menswear label. One could see from the finger wave hairstyles created backstage to the sneak peek at the dress rehearsal, this winter collection was definitely going to be provocative. It was obvious that the pressure was on Brown to predict what broad-minded men want from fashion. Honestly, I'm the worst person to ask, I don't know. Um, I hope that they're just, you know, looking for things that they like themselves and, you know, they have their own sense of their own style, so that's what I hope they're looking for. Guys looking to Brown will find his signature shrunken suits, rhinestone briefcases, and his quirky take on the poncho among his winter offerings. Thank God we have Tom Brown because it's like, you know, he's a creator, you know, he takes it, he takes that little gray suit and he pushes it to the limit. The main theme of the collection was just using different, almost women's inspired um, shapes for guys, which I thought was, it was interesting to do it in a masculine way, which I thought, I thought it looked masculine, so, and I had a really good time with it. that people always say about menswear is that there's not a lot that you can do with it. I think you really prove that you can really put a lot of creativity into it. You can really make it your own. I don't know how many men necessarily want to have a pleated double vented blazer, but I think the fact that he just injected so much of his own personal expression into it was just fantastic. So I wanted the, that little touch of almost like a grandmother's luxury in the way that even the mink went around the body as opposed to up and down, which I thought was beautiful. It's hard to do something that makes an impact in menswear. And Tom has made a huge impact in menswear and that hasn't happened for a while. So it's great, especially for men like myself that love to buy things. So. Um, yeah, no, his creativity has made an impact in men, so maybe eventually women's too, who knows. It was literally a circus at Tom Brown's Fall 2008 show. Even the big top could barely contain Brown's clever creativity. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the craziest Show on Earth. It's loosely based on the circus, but it's never literally based on anything, but it's, it's always kind of crazy ideas that I have in my head. But I thought it was kind of cool to present it in an old American traveling circus. In men's 
clothing. I think it just adds a more masculine kind of youthful, more playful side to it. We developed a lot of Argyle fabrics and mixed them with really traditional American rep stripes. Navy and gray is a really strong story with gold buttons. I think it's very American. I adore going to Tom Brown's shows because he's one of those rare menswear designers who I think really takes the idea of designing for men quite seriously and believes that you can still embrace sort of the fundamentals of menswear and the history of menswear and still find a way to say something new with it and to challenge men. I like to take chances. I like to do things that people don't expect. I like to provoke new ideas and I like to make people think. And I also like for people to have a good time. Complete with scoreboard and ball boys, Tom Brown held on to the glory of the U.S. Open Tennis Tournament for just one more night. Tennis, U.S. Open just finished, so I figured I'd continue it for another day. The award-winning designer's refreshing wit always keeps the fashion set on their toes. My shows, I love to just keep people guessing and doing provocative, interesting things that, that are fun. I'm always amazed on how kids keep their trousers up when they wear them that low. So I figured I'd try to figure out a way on keeping them up. It's always good to kind of introduce and provoke different ideas and have some type of women's influence and try to make it, put it into a man's piece of clothing, which I thought was amazing. I use grain ribbon in most of my clothing, so I wanted to use it in a way that I hadn't used it before, and that meant making an actual fabric out of it. So it took so much work to actually weave the, the grain into a fabric, but it's so worthy because it was so beautiful. Even the way it moved when it was on. I love doing my shows. I like to entertain myself as well as everybody else. So. When you see the space that I'm actually showing in, it was the real starting point. I mean, the collection does feel the, the proportions in the rooms made me really want to show something that was somewhat bigger than life. It's basically that, very like old New York feeling.
really doing gray with navy, um, gray Prince of Wales checks and Tattersalls, and then a really good uh, red, white, and blue group. There's a, a very old school um, rugby and football influence. Well, you'll see a, a really cool football, like fair owl print, in, in a lot of knits and woven fabrics. I love Tom Brown. I think it's a very important component of New York Fashion Week to have something which is truly avant-garde and a little bit crazy and sort of challenging mentally. You know, if it was all just sort of accessible sportswear, it would be very boring. So Tom provides this great jolt of creativity and God love him for it. Thank you, Tom. It's kind of a pyjamas type outfit with a trench coat. Very comfortable, it's very snug, very tight, very comfortable, um, very loose fitting, so I feel very relaxed. There's a lot of oversized, uh, a lot of different proportions uh, that I think will be eye-opening for people. I'm wearing Tom Brown, uh, it's like a dress, you know, like a Marilyn Manson type with like a, a like college jacket, you know, kind of, like cut. How do you feel? Uh, if there is a fire, I can't run, but uh, yeah, it's cool. Being someone who's a bit shorter, actually, I love his jackets and have a lot of them. Like the jackets are brilliant and I, you know, they're perfectly wearable and delightful. And um, the knits are very groovy. A lot of guys, even if they wouldn't want that tight suited look, are gonna go for some of those sort of almost preppy collegiate kind of knits that he does an interesting twist on. And um, I actually love the glasses too. The eyewear, very groovy. The most important thing is to be comfortable and to not feel like you have to you know, follow some type of rule. I think really just understanding yourself and your own sense of style. The room was beautiful and for me visually there was not a, like a real literal like religious theme to it but there was definitely the reference. Well the two things that were important were the classic suit which started the show in the menswear plaids but then also to more of the architectural pieces that were seriously constructed to the women's body so it was kind of those two ideas that were important in the show. I love the use of fur, but more, more utilitarian fur, not so precious sometimes with the long-haired beaver and the Persian lamb. Tailoring is very important to me, and I, I want people to see the connection between my men's and women's, so really seeing the, the tailoring in the coats was, I guess, important. And then the detailing is all, I really take it from my menswear, you know, a lot of the details that you see in the clothes. There's a lot of the menswear influence in the materials. I'll use a lot of the, the fabrics that I use in my men's collections uh, just to draw that connection between the two. And I love men's tailoring and fabrics on girls, just making sure that you can kind of make it you know, sexier and more feminine. I can definitely push women's a lot more, and it's a really good challenge. Men's for me is a lot easier, and it's nice to have that challenge. And I intend on having a lot of fun with it. 
but I do love the connection. I don't want to lose that. It was really just the color red and roses coming in and, and also this somewhat insane world kind of playing into, into it. The kind of creativity, the sort of, the way he twists and warps this whole ivy wasp aesthetic is really, really transgressive and appealing. And that's the thing, it's also very chic. I mean, it sort of, it works in that classic waspy way, and yet it's also a total perversion of it, which is so fabulous. I love his aesthetic. You know, I love the clean lines, and I love the whimsical nature of it. I exaggerated the, the hips and the shoulders because I wanted the, the waist to look even smaller. And especially because I do such tailored clothing mostly, which I love, I wanted it to look very feminine on the girls. I love the fact that he pushes the envelope with his designs and that everything is very structured and um, it was very classic menswear inspired women's wear, but with a very feminine twist to it. You saw like um, like hand placed uh, pieces of lace on the jackets and um, just very structured uh, shoulders, very exaggerated. I love collections when they have a lot of layers to them and you almost don't see it all at the beginning. You, you have to keep looking at it in the front and the back. There's, there's a different experience, so there's a lot of attention to all that. I thought it was a really strong collection that really showed his great skill at tailoring. It showed his connection to menswear, but there was also a lot of romance to it. The Michelle Obama thing was so exciting because obviously Tom's known for menswear, so to see the first lady step out in his women's wear designs was just phenomenal. And it, to me, it said, wow, this guy has a business, and this is really, really going to catapult him. So honored, so humbled by her choosing mine amongst so many really good designers that she works with. So yeah, an amazing experience I'll remember for the rest of my life. He's got a very, very clear vision, and it's a very strong, strong focused vision, and I think that's what makes him so important. People throw around art and fashion. This is where it really, really makes sense. I wanted to see really strong tailored clothing on girls that look very feminine, but also look very interesting and provocative.